Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire, Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this story comes from Manchester and it's about rapper Bugsy Malone. The businessman has been found not guilty today and cleared of all charges in relation to GBH when he broke the jaws of two people that tried to gain entry to his home. The reason I didn't cover this story along with several other cases that are in court with crime artists at the mini is due to the fact that I only cover the most severe of cases if they have a public name. In a story like this, the story of them being cleared will never be as big as it is when they were first arrested. Some blogs will document the trial of these sort of cases but I won't do that unless the person who's involved asks me to. Today they've released the CCTV footage from his home that shows his Mercedes speeding down the driveway before he throws off a t-shirt and runs up to strangers and breaks their jaws. He was warned that strangers were breaking into his house and he decided to go back to his property to protect his loved ones. The reason people were there was initially it was children that had turned up and their family was nearby attending a pudding throwing competition. I have no idea what that's about. And they started to call his name and then because they were not not happy with how they were responded to they went and got their dad and their dad come back with somebody else this occurred three years ago but of course you only find out about it when the court case is going on and a jury unanimously accepted that he acted in self-defense when he punched the two men Bugsy has overcome a lot in his life and he's made it to the top of the industry despite having been to jail as a teenager and coming from an estate and openly admitting to being involved in gang culture. This is the exact reason I support artists that are trying to turn their lives around as I've shown in many examples before over the several years on the channel. Sometimes it's not ideal that people rap or whatever they rap about but it is a means for them to escape the lifestyle that they once was living. This was a very serious case and he did face a jail sentence if he was convicted. His real name is Aaron Davies and he was born in Withington Hospital and grew up in Crumsall, Manchester. He spent the early years of his childhood they said in court with his mother and stepfather until around the age of 10 when their relationship broke down. Malone said that his mother's partner was abusive to her and also beat him up. And this affected his schooling and he was expelled at 13 years old. I was struggling to concentrate and got kicked out of school, he said to the judge. I was a troublesome teenager, but I figured I needed to learn to look after myself. What was difficult in the beginning of my family life, he said, is that it was functional and it became dysfunctional and you lose people you love. Malone even recalled being stabbed by a group of guys during the six weeks holidays before high school. And he was kicked out of his mother's house and this added to his troubles and he lost structure in his life. And he got in with the wrong crowd and that led to his involvement in gang culture. He said the real wake up call was when he was jailed for six months, age 16, and then he found boxing and later music. And he said this was his salvation. He released a series of freestyles, mixtapes and videos on YouTube. and They have gathered millions of streams and fans. And he went on to then do his own clothing line that was in JD. This isn't the first time since Bugsy has become famous that he's been in court. He was convicted in 2015 for punching a man inside a Manchester nightclub who has used racial insults against him and was later thrown out by Dorsey staff. Despite this fact though, Bugsy was given a suspended sentence and he admitted assault occasioning actual bodily harm. He was getting more and more famous at this point in Manchester and his music was being played on radio stations and he was getting into the charts as well. He was one of the first artists to come from Manchester to really make an impact in crime and to leave a legacy and to make millions. He has gone on to start in Hollywood gangster films as well with his first appearance in The Gentleman by Guy Ritchie alongside Colin Farrell and Hugh Grant. So they go on to say that the village that he lives in is called Ramsbottom and they had the annual black pudding throwing festival that these teenagers were attending that day with their family. They said the teenagers decided to go off and find Bugsy Malone who they knew had moved to the area recently. They said one boy climbed over the wall and started peering over the perimeter fence shouting his name and some of the lyrics from one of his songs. The children ran off when someone came out and one girl was left terrified after a car that she believed was being driven by Bugsy Malone drove at them aggressively. Bugsy denied chasing the children and said he just motivated them to leave.
leave. The children then called their parents and the dad of one of the kids was not prepared to let it go. He was angry and apparently drunk and he was on a warpath after being told his son had been threatened. He came armed with a brick and picked up stones from the floor and demanded to speak to the man of the house. Malone was out at the time shopping with his sister while his girlfriend and mother was in the home. He'd reached Cheatham Hill Road by the time he received a call from his girlfriend who was hysterical because three men were smashing up the home. The father of the boy who can't be named for legal reasons forced his way into Malone's electric gates and he started shouting and gesturing and throwing stones and bricks at the house. The man would later be prosecuted and convicted for criminal damage. Bugsy Malone told the jury that he was scared and that is why he came back. He told the court that the closer he got to the situation I could tell these guys were not interested in talking. Malone was accused of them booting the man's friend in the head like he was kicking a football as he lay on the ground. So bear in mind as well Bugsy recently had just got over being in a serious crash so it's good to know that he's back to full health and he's not too injured and he hasn't got no long lasting effects from that incident. He's now arranging his UK tour and he wants to make a hometown show scheduled for the Manchester Arena in December and he returned with his latest album The Resurrection earlier this year and the arena gig is planned to be one of the biggest events of the year. At the end of the day he's turned his life around. This situation was bizarre and just another reminder to definitely not bother celebrities when they're at home with their families. So I really appreciate you joining me today. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.